Hey, thank you so much for watching. My name is John and today we're going to talk about how to repair a basically a volume on a Synology. This particular Synology is about, I think, 10 years old. I try to look one up because I'm doing this remotely. So I had another user essentially pull the drive and put it in for me. It's this one right here. It has this kind of shiny face on the front, the 412 Plus. Uh, here's another picture of one right here as well. You essentially pull off this front plate and then you see the drive bays like this one here, uh, which most Synologies look like. Here's the 412 empty, almost looks like a piano on the inside. Um, so essentially what has happened is it has, it had two eight terabyte drives and two three terabyte drives. Uh, two of the three, of two of the threes, one died and they figured why not replace um, them to a new one and bring it from two eights to four eights and increase their storage tenfold. Now, if you go to Google and you type Synology calculator, um, this has a really good way of showing how RAID is used and what is left for the system and then what is left over. Uh, Synology has SHR, which allows you to blend uh, different types of hard drives. So before we had two eights and two threes. And if you see here, we have about 40 gigs for um, reserve for the system, eight capacity, 2.7 for protection, and then a total loss of 9.1 terabytes. Uh, the reason it was this way is originally they had threes and then they got, you know, one three died, they put in an eight, another three died, they put in an eight. And in this scenario, we're gonna get rid of two threes. So basically we've got one, rid of one of them and we put in an eight. You can see it here, not much of a gain, still more waste. But then finally, when we get rid of this last three and we put in an eight, there's a huge gain because there's no waste being in those drives are all mixed up in size. Um, I know it says RAID 5, but SHR is the same thing. It just allows you to blend it. It's essentially RAID 5, which allows, um, which asks for all the drives to be the same, but SHR says they don't have to be. It works it out so they can be different. So this is what we're moving to, and I'll show you what we've done. So again, we pulled the drive out, um, put it in the sled, pushed it back in, and then I'll switch over to the DSM. As a note, it is 2024, but this is a DSM uh, six uh, NAS drive. I know there's plenty in the wild. I have plenty myself. DSM seven uh, does not work on this drive. So it is a DSM-6 um, software, but I'll walk you through all that. It's essentially the same as DSM-7. 7 just has more flair and has a lot more options. All right, let's, let, let's get to it. All right, so I've gone ahead and logged into this analogy. Now this particular one is remote um, and I turned off the beep, but I was told that it was beeping. What'll happen is, is when that drive is replaced or anything happens to a drive, it'll beep over and over and over. I turned that off before this video. When it is beeping, the control panel will pop up to this section here, beep control. And I've already hit beep off. If it was sitting right next to me, um, it would be pretty annoying. Uh, but the user that this was happening to, of course it was annoying, so I turned it off. Uh, to find beep control, just while we're in here, go to control panel, just type beep at the top here. And again, this is this particular one is a DSM-6 model. Now, something I wanted to point out here, I'll show you in just a second, um, is we'll go to a main menu, over to Storage Manager, and then you can also see here on the right, it's degraded. So this particular NAS has, um, it had two three terabyte drives and two eights. One three died and they figured, hey, it's got nine and a half years of um, usage time. I think it was over 80,000 hours. Uh, why not upgrade both to then have four eight terabyte drives? Um, so one was pulled and repaired. The second was pulled and uh, entered in the fourth eight terabyte drive, excuse me. And now we're gonna show you how to rebuild it. So we've already rebuilt once, um, but this is what you'll see. You'll see attention, volume is degraded. Here it says degraded. When I get into here, um, you'll see at the bottom here that the three drives are used, one is unused. 
I'll go to store. Well, you'll see volume here, same thing. Lots of degraded, lots of red, you know, red sign here. We'll come here and then this is where we can fix it. And you can see drive four is eight, eight terabytes comes out to 7.28, but that's a whole nother uh, issue. So we have three eights and drive one doesn't appear. And this says one drive needs to be repaired. So we go to action and then repair, <coughs> excuse me. And you see here, here's drive one. It's an eight terabyte drive and I hit next. Now this warning is new. Um, and I think it's due to the compatibility list that Synology's put out recently. I have replaced many drives. I don't remember this coming up. It says it's not compatible. We recommend Synology products. Of course they do. Uh, the great thing of Synology is you've been able to put in Western Digital Drives, which this one is. And I'm using the red series, which is the NAS series. Um, please check the list. Are you sure you want to continue? Of course we do. All the data on the new drive will be erased. Are you sure? Again, it's a new drive, non-issue. Hit OK. So it says here that drive one, storage pull one, will be repaired to a total capacity of 2182. Currently, it's at 11, and it has three eight, two eights and a three. Wait a minute. It has three eights. Um, it did have a three before that. Um, so there was a lot of waste uh, having that last or three terabyte there as well. And I'll hit apply. Now I'm not gonna record while this fixes. Uh, the first repair when it was one three, one brand new eight and two other eight terabyte drives uh, took about three and a half days. The um, repair I believe may have restarted. I had a note at night that it was at 50%. When I checked back the next day, it was at 30. Uh, so something happened where it restarted. I looked through the logs, didn't see anything, um, and it did finish today. Anyway, so now you can see here, system health, your disk station is working well. Well is debatable as it's barely even initialized the drive um, and rebuilded the array. But that is basically it. Um, this is running SHR, which is essentially RAID 5 which allows you to mix drives. That's how we had three terabytes and eight terabytes in a RAID 5 configuration. Synology actually does not recommend this for their bigger um, platforms. So if you have eight, 10 drives, they really don't recommend SHR because the rebuild is, it, it takes forever. Um, I did read somewhere online that a 10 or 12 terabyte rebuild was taken six, seven days. Um, most people can't deal with that kind of downtime, especially if you're trying to access some kind of backup uh, before that. All right, well, if this was helpful, I'd love a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.